Set Tower, Kodiak 178 Kilo Quebec, ready to go, runway 36. Kodiak 178 Kilo uh, Quebec, then Tower, ready to say direction of flight. Go east, uh, eastbound. To the east. Let's say again. Eastbound departure. And Kodiak 8 uh, Kilo Quebec, right, right turn out to runway 36, the wind 040 and 10, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, Kodiak 8 Kilo Quebec, thanks, sir. After we take off, uh, the gear handle's right here. All right. And it's similar to this. You got to pull up on that T and then bring it all the way up to it's vertical here. All right. Final looks clear. A little bit of right crosswind, so just good technique. And right you might have to ride the uh, left brake a little bit. It's probably going to try and weather vane a little bit on you on the right. Okay. May have to. You may be able to get it uh, pretty effective. Then just a smooth feed. You're, uh, you're going to be limited by one of those two, whichever turns yellow or red first, that's your limit. All right. Just feed a nice, uh, smooth power. It'll surge a little bit, and once that, you can push it right on up. Just keep coming right on up, right on up. There we go. Go up, now push it right on up. Come on up. You got to go up to 18.4, there you go. That's good right there, and then we'll back it off just a little bit. You're good. You're ready to ro start rotating. Go ahead and line it up. There you go. And it's flying. And you get the gear Traffic, up. Traffic, 3 o'clock. Same altitude. Zero I'm out at 75. 75? 75. And go ahead and pull your prop back to 2,000. Looking right there. That's all right because it's going to readjust once we get to 2,000. We go to 1,970 on the torque as a limit. And on back below 2,000, right at 2,000, or just below, there you go. Perfect. All right. And right turn whenever you're comfortable. What we'll do is we'll go, uh, we'll go out this way. You can either go north of McKinney, Arrow Country and McKinney if you want, or you can cut this line either either way you want to do it. All right. Out here is probably less traffic, so if you want to go that. Yeah. And I just go ahead and uh, level off about here and uh, oh. let it cruise. We need to burn off a little fuel anyway. We'll Wow, this is so cool. And pretty much, uh, you can bring some of that uh, right rudder trim out, you know, get it coordinated up, however you feel. Nice. Like that's right here, you got some aileron trim up here on top if you need it. All right. Let's go about 10 more degrees left there, and uh, here, I'll just give you a hitting bug here. That's it, you know, your uh, gross weight, 145 knots on floats. Wow. And if you really want, you got just a little bit more left here, so. That's what you're looking at, your torque? Yeah, yeah that or any any of these are the limiting factor. You can run them up to any of the limits. All right. And you're burning uh, 400, 400 pounds, so, you know, about 48 gallons an hour here. You can take it up to a loitering, you know, um, setting at about 90, up to about 12,000 feet, 95 knots, and you'll be burning about 28 gallons an hour. That's what would give you the nine hours plus of endurance if, okay. you, need it, if you wanted to loiter. And the two aileron turn buttons, does it matter do you have to use them both or does it matter oh, Yeah, it's just both at the same time. So. Okay. Just a safety thing. It just wants to make sure that you really want to roll some trim in there. Oh, gotcha. It comes with a Garmin Autopilot. You can turn the yaw dampener on. That'll help you out a little bit. Fine. We want to make sure we have that off before we start doing the uh, water landing and stuff. Gotcha. So you you want to try, if you want to try the autopilot on, just uh, select your mode, heading select, and then uh, the autopilot. Uh, I think I'll hand fly for a little bit just for the experience, but I like the yaw damper being on. That kind of helps out. <laughs> they probably appreciate it in the back, too. <laughs> you should. Well, in that case, let's take it off. <laughs> it's a little bouncier today. You should have been sitting in this front left seat yesterday because this thing was swaying. I mean, the whole seat was really? traveling about four inches yeah. or so. You know, it's funny. The B25 is so bad because the pilot, the, the the cockpit's right at the CG almost, and then the tail. If you're doing this in the cockpit, those guys are getting sick back there. It is a <laughs> wild ride. I like that water runway. Very yeah, and the way this system works is at 75, it's going to warn you one way or the other. 75 knots indicated All on right. the low. So if it says uh, gears up for water landing, you have to cancel it on the on the one that it's giving you. If you cancel it down here, it, it's not going to cancel. So it uh, wants you to verify that that's really what you want. 
Okay. So it's just another little bit of a double check. Plus, we got the mirrors out there. Oh, so your mirrors, yeah. you can go look yeah, at that oh, yeah, side. Yeah, you see the main and the front there. Yep. Oh, that's cool. You guys have fun? Bad. Probably ought to still try and bail out of here. 1.30 or 2, you think that's doable? Oh, yeah. I'm going to go out and do trick-or-treating tonight. Forgot about that. Is nope. it Halloween? Trick or trick or uh, Halloween, man. I man. completely forgot about that. First thing my daughter said when she woke up, she goes, Happy Halloween. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how they don't forget about that. <laughs> right? <laughs> I landed this in about two foot waves up at Texas the other day when the winds were howling. Yeah. Wow. I gotta say it was fun. <laughs> was it work? <laughs> it work. I had to uh, getting it into where I, I basically beached. Yeah. Down there by the restaurant. Are you familiar with Cedar Mills up there? Uh, not Texas? really. And uh, so you have to go in, in through this. Uh, water break that they have set up. Well, right. the wind was such that I had to kind of do some Kentucky windage <laughs> in the airplane way, way south of it. There's a bird right there. Go ahead. And then uh, water rudders wouldn't wouldn't bring the nose around, so I had to pull it into reverse and pull the nose around and kind of sail it, right. kind of <laughs> sail it down. Once I got behind all the sail sailboats and stuff, there was enough of a break the water rudders will handle it. A bit of right cross, so it's a uh, kind of like a tailwheel airplane. It's uh, rudder, you know, the uh, crosswind technique. Okay, when you get it on the ground uh, as you get to the uh, no rudder effectiveness. It's uh, differential brake. That's all you got. Okay. Now, when we're on short final and all the way through the lane, you're not going to hurt my feelings if you're big time on the controls with me. <laughs> uh, I will if I need to, but I I don't get stressed out too easy. I'm not gonna hurt my feelings though. I know. At the end of the day, I'm responsible for this, so exactly I get it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I respect that. <laughs> on a windy landing, um, and on this airplane in uh, particular. With the floats, you want to bring it in right at 65 and fly it on the runway. You don't want to do the flare, you know, chop the power thing. Okay. And on the turbine, you don't want to do that anyway. It's just a smooth uh, power off as you touch down, uh, power off, and then go ahead and pull it into base. All right. And, um, do you mind if we went over the lake right here and then no, hug no, the lake? No, no, no. You knock yourself out. You're flying. Cool. Thanks. You know the lake better than I do, so you can kind of show me where they like to land and all that stuff too. That'd be good. Okay. See the bridge out there? Yeah. When we were doing the duck, we were on the other side of the bridge, and it was working out pretty good. We had a north wind, yeah. and we'd come in. There's a little channel that we'd come in. Actually, I'll show you that. All right. That seems it's like it's not going to hurt us to burn off a little fuel anyway. So okay. Like I said, you're you're feeling this about that gross weight. So I mean, it's okay. This is as heavy as it gets. Wow. We got a nice lake though. It's a beautiful lake. Yeah, this is airplane to look good on any of these beaches. Oh, are really amazing. nice. Yeah. On this airplane too, you can see where they, uh, the windshield or the window over here is uh, designed where you can actually look over the wing on the caravan. You can't do that. Yeah. Between the two bridges works out pretty good. And you can, like I said, you know, double check with Andrew because he really knows. Now you got some stumps over here. You got some trees over here. Yeah, there's trees over here too. Oh, that's... sure enough. So if, I would... if you're seeing them here, you know they're under the water too. Yeah, very true. I. I'm pretty sure we stay on the other side of the bridge because that seems to be real, real clear over there. We would come in and duck. We're, we're landing that way. Toward the, if we, we would use that cove up there for an engine out. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And uh, using this channel up here yep. for approach. Exactly right. Oh, yeah, that's good. That looks nice there. Bigger one there with the bridge. Yeah. That's what we would use. 
It's kind of out of out of windbreak there too. Yeah, true. Right. It looks like it's almost switching kind of out of the east. Yeah. Yeah, I think the landing to the south is slightly favored. All right. Almost a direct cross. All right. So below 140, go ahead and put your gear down. It takes a little while to transition, so. I need to pull it back so I don't go over. No, you're good. All right. You can start slowing down and leveling off here if you want to, whatever you want to do. You're below the first notch flap, so you can bring that in. And once you do that, it's going to automatically trim for you, so give it just a second. Really? Yep. Wow. And then you can adjust it once it stops doing all that if you need a little adjustment. And you yaw damn is off. Mount Pleasant Drive at Cody, a Quebec Kilo is turning base runway 17, full stop, Mount Pleasant. And you're below your second notch flap speed, so you can uh, bring another notch in here. Boy, that automatic trim is cool. <laughs> Go ahead and ease it back. Just go ahead and pull it back to about 80 knots. Whatever it takes there. And you can start about a four or 500 foot a minute descent. So whatever right. it takes to do 80 and four or 500 feet a minute descent. Fall back with the power a little bit there. Yeah. There you go. Runway Mount Pleasant. landing. Gear is down for runway landing. We agree. I do agree. So in the window. window. For runway landing. More power. We're well, just going to take a little power on this crosswind landing, it looks like. All right. Mount Pleasant. That may end up helping you a little bit on this. Kilo final runway 17, full stop, Mount Pleasant. And you go to full flaps here. Right now. She's about 70 to 75 on this one. All right. A little more power. There you go. A little bit of a handful on a crosswind, so. But a handful, period. I'm not used to this. It's fun, but more airplane than I'm used to. Be coming down just a little bit here. I'm going to be just with you on the power. No, you get, you got it. I'll okay. just be right behind you there. Don't jerk it to idle. You'll pinch my fingers. Okay. Let it come right on down here. You got a good power setting. Just hold what you got. Now, a little more rudder. A little more rudder. Stall. Stall. There you go, a little aileron. And you go ahead and brake it and then start steering with your brakes. Go ahead and brake it down, make that next. Uh, now you just got to use brakes here. There you go. Told you to be on rolls. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Sorry, that's it. And I'll bring one of these off so we don't transfer a lot of fuel. Whew. That was cool. Nice job. All right, just back to idle there. First thing you're going to do is go ahead and feather the prop all the way over the gate. Well, fast, right? No, yeah, you can do it. Over the gate and idle cutoff. Probe off, beacon off. Let uh, electric boost pop off. Generator alternator off. Uh, the bus power and the uh, right to left. Off. 